Hi, and welcome to another segment of Fireside Chat. Today my focus is uh, on another aspect of Delta State's outreach to the community. Uh, our teaching mission here is first and foremost, but it's very important for us to be a good neighbor with our community, with the city of Cleveland, Bolivar County, and the surrounding area, and the businesses, and we're going to focus on that for a couple of minutes today. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the Cleveland Bolivar County Young Professional Organization. Uh, the University and Bolivar County's Chamber of Commerce have always worked very closely together. It's a great town-gown relation. A few years ago, the Chamber created a young professional group for young business owners and professionals throughout the area to connect and to support each other. This organization offers a wide array of opportunities for young entrepreneurs and professionals for social networking, for development and interaction, and it would be a great way for our students at Delta State to learn from young professionals as they decide on their careers of the future. Today as a special guest, I have Suzette Matthews, who joins us to tell us more about the CBYP panel uh, and the ways that uh, employees and every student really here on campus can benefit from attending some of their events. Suzette is a native of Perryton, Texas. Uh, she and her husband, Maddie, uh, own the Delta Dairy here in town, a favorite place downtown uh, in Cleveland. And she has also been very involved with Teach for America and serves as the Director of Development Fundraising for that organization. Suzette, welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, maybe an overview of this organization and how it benefits both students and employees? Absolutely. Um, we're really excited about our professional development opportunities that CBYP offers um, students, young professionals. It's also a really great place um, to network, to network with people maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit younger, meet new people in town. Cleveland um, you know, is bustling with lots of professionals, young and old, um, and there's so much that we can learn. Mm -hmm. Um, also, we offer a great way um, to, pro to give back to Cleveland um, through our community service efforts. Great. Now, how has it personally benefited you in your business career? Oh, absolutely. Um, we, whenever we started opening um, Delta Dairy, we benefited so much from being able to talk to other business owners, um, people in town, um, to see if this is something that we could sustain, if people would come, um, how to use QuickBooks, um, how to hire people. It's benefited us in so many different ways. Great. Are there events that you can tell us about, things that you host from time to time, mm -hmm. activities that would be interesting to our students? Absolutely. Um, we have an annual crawfish boil where we um, recruit new members to come out, um, have crawfish, um, and we also have uh, community service opportunities. Um, last year we painted um, Bell Academy. It was a lot of fun. Um, a great way to give back and get something done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when there's 20 of you doing it, it's not as doesn't take as much time as one person painting the whole building. Um, and then we also just have lots of networking opportunities throughout the year. Now, I hate to ask this almost, but uh, is there an age cutoff, or when are you not a young professional anymore? It's There's no age cutoff. It's for the young at heart. There you go. I like the that. The young at heart. Now, for someone interested in the program, how would they get involved? Sure. Um, you can go through our Facebook page. Um, it's Cleveland Bolivar County Young Professionals. Um, our Facebook page is up to date. It's constantly, um, we constantly update it. We also have a Twitter account. Um, if you just Google that, that'll come up. It has all of our events. Um, we have an event coming up on September 16th at Airport Grocery, mm -hmm. um, where we're going to um, get really involved in some committees and start planning out the next year. Very good, very good. Well, thank you for including our students, and thank you for the programs that you sponsor. Thank you. Very important to the business community. A million. In another opportunity to network among young professionals and our campus and our community, we have uh, the beginning of our uh, Distinguished uh, Speaker Lecture Series coming up here in just a couple of weeks. We've got a famous uh, man from Washington, D.C. named Charles Bowser, who is the former Controller General of the United States. He will be speaking on September 25th at the first colloquium of the year at 6 o'clock in Job Hall. Uh, Mr. Bowser has had a very impressive career, both in the private sector and in government. For 15 years, he was Controller General of the United States, meaning he's in charge of the GAO, the Governmental Accountability Office. And he has a wealth of uh, knowledge and information to bring us related to the economics and finances of the United States and the interaction with our government. So we invite all of you, whether you're on campus or in the community, to join us for that event. Again, that's September 25th at 6 o'clock in Job Hall. In other events, we're featuring another special guest on campus in conjunction with the celebration of Constitution Week. And that's the Honorable David Lammy 
who's a member of parliament from Britain. He'll be on campus this evening speaking about the comparisons between the British and the American constitutions. That should be interesting. So come out at 7 o'clock in Joe Auditorium. It's being sponsored by our well-known Madison Center on campus. We'll also have the annual Rice Luncheon this Friday starting at 11 a.m. over in the Coliseum. This event's become a very famous event over the last 20 years. It draws an average of about 2,000 people a year. So come out and sample some of the rice dishes that are on display there and uh, enjoy some time with your colleagues around lunchtime this Friday. To find out more about these events and really any campus event that we have on, on tap coming up in the near future, you can stay connected to us uh, and to the green and white nation generally by going to deltastate.edu. Suzette, thanks again for joining me today. Thanks again for joining me on this edition of Fireside Chat. We'll see you next time.